who you left. Uh, you're the lucky ones because y'all are going to find out why three months ago I quit my job and why I'm starting a company. The papers are in. Um, and uh, so this is going to be about Mantle Global and it's going to be about CJDNS, which some of you may know, some of you may not. CJDNS is a routing protocol that I created seven years ago to do mesh net networking. Um, so I'm going to reveal for the first time the project, and I believe that this is going to revolutionize the way internet access is bought around the world. But first, I mean, when a, when a scruffy guy gets up and talks, you know, you expect me to say something audacious about the future. So I'm going to, I'm going to deliver. Um, a lot of techno futurists like to talk about the singularity, you know, this point where AI superintelligence becomes more smarter than anything we can ever imagine. And I think that the singularity is not something that's coming. I think it's already here. As William Gibson would say, it's just very unevenly distributed. And I think that it's here in this room because we're the people who are building it. Whether we know it or not, we are the people who are building that thing. Now, I'm, I'm going to put that on the back burner and just keep that in, in mind while I go over this this project that we're starting off. Seven years ago, I began the project which I call CJDNS. It's, it's basically, it's an encrypted IPv6 network. All the data is encrypted and authenticated, and your IP address is the hash of your key. And that means that if you know the address of a server in that network, you have a way to have an encrypted connection with that server that can't be man in the middle, all right? So it's somewhat like Tor in that it, um, you can have services inside the CJDNS network and you ha can access the internet outside the CJDNS network. But unlike Tor, CJDNS does not need the internet to be running over. If you have just a whole bunch of computers and some, internet, some uh, wire connections, some network connections between them, CJDNS will build its own internet. And that feature was absolutely by design because CJDNS is not something that was designed to run over the internet. CJDNS was designed to replace it. So about 2011 was when I started actually writing the code on CJDNS. I, I had been thinking these thoughts since about 08, 07, but 2011 I started writing code. In 2012, we had the first two nodes linked together, that the network began. And by 2013, we had about 1,000 nodes. And then we hit a, hit a sort of a roadblock because blockchain micropayments did not exist at that point. And there was no, there was no roadmap for blockchain micropayments. So it was just a far off dream. And that is a critical component to making a network which will pay its own bills. So we decided that rather than have a network grow as a hobby network that was never going to be able to flourish and it would just be another open source project, we were going to make it go kind of stealth. So we stopped talking to the media. We stopped, there's, there's to this day no website. The official installation method is that you've got to compile code. And to this day, we still have a thousand nodes. No more, no less. That means a thousand computers around the world run by different hobbyists who have manually linked those nodes to other nodes because they're interested in the technology. But this year, the winds have changed. Lightning Network is here. And that means cryptocurrency micropayments are now a reality. And so I have decided to go forth and register the CJDNS company and begin focusing on CJDNS full time. And my next objective is to do to the telecoms, to the broadband industry, what Uber has done to the taxis by making it easy for individuals to own and operate pieces of the internet infrastructure. In the US alone, there's 106 million lines, uh, broadband internet lines, and they cost $66 each on average. Uh, that is overpriced. In Germany, they cost $34 each. In Romania, it's 13. And we're talking about gigabit fiber here. There have been attempts to upset this market, to get into it, for example, by Google Fiber. Uh, but the cost of infrastructure has proven a formidable barrier, even for Google. 
CGDNS is not going to challenge this market directly. Instead, we're going to leverage the local investment, the local effort, the local know-how of millions of local residents and bring them to bear on the problem. Uber didn't have to buy the cars, and so we are not going to have to buy the infrastructure. So you're probably thinking any, any network that's run over low-cost hardware with amateur operators, it can't possibly be reliable enough for real-world usage. Well, consider for a moment how Uber manages to provide reliable transportation without any one of their uh, drivers promising to be at work in the morning. Before Uber, that was, that, that was unheard of. Um, consider the fact that no tech company actually runs a mainframe anymore. They're all running swarms of little PCs, and all those things are failing every day, but the service itself is more reliable than ever. This is something that I call, I call this phenomenon emergent reliability. Now, I'd love to tell you about the history of the internet, because in the early days, the internet was actually considered like Bitcoin was considered in 2011, 2012. It was considered the domain of hobbyists and anarchists, and it was something not to be taken seriously. The telecoms even created their own internet through the ISDN network. But we only have 10 minutes, and you'll have to get this story later. The point is that redundancy is cheaper than reliability, and reliable systems can be built from unreliable components, as long as they have enough redundancy and the right protocols to control them. And it's my intention with CJDNS to create emergent reliability from redundant, low-cost hardware, freelance labor, and informal skill building. And CJDNS will bring that network to the last mile broadband market, which today is filled with carrier-grade hardware and highly paid professionals. Look at it this way. A piece of hardware breaks. The cable company has to roll a truck. In our network, the operator responsible for that hardware is probably not going to need to go much further than going on their roof. Maybe even they just open the window. And they might have to buy some replacement hardware, but they don't have to go as far as the cable company does. So between the savings on the hardware, because we can use cheaper hardware, and the savings on labor, we're not going to worry about a little cost of a little redundancy. So this is clearly an ambitious plan, which is going to require the development of new hardware. It's going to require the development of new software, new services. And it's not all going to be done by one organization. And it's certainly not all going to be done by me. We're going to need to build an ecosystem to approach this industry. And so that's why I want to introduce CJDNS partner, which is Mantle. Guys, stand up in the back. So Mantle is two things. Mantle is the blockchain which is going to power the CJDNS incentivized mesh net. And Mantle is the first hardware device which is going to mine that blockchain. But every Mantle device is also going to be a CJDNS node which is going to expand the global mesh net. So when I started writing CJDNS seven years ago, you know, this space was crickets. But a lot of incentivized mesh net projects have started popping up in the few, last few years. It's become kind of a sexy topic. And uh, they're, they're clearly experiencing the learning curve of this stuff. And one thing, one problem that has stopped a lot of them uh, is they're trying to figure out, OK, how do we make the algorithm, which is going to, on one side, it's going to accept a uh, a market of bandwidth, which is a complicated thing. And on the other side, it's going to provide just a, um, a, uh, a monthly payment, something that a normal person can understand, a monthly payment, easy to use internet access. And that's that algorithm, designing that is something that's held up a lot of people. But I'm, I'm going to give you, give you a little trade secret here, because, but in retrospect, it ought to be obvious. CJDNS is not going to try to price the market on, with some magical algorithm. 
we're going to open a decentralized bandwidth futures market and we're going to allow market makers to price the market for their customers. So it won't matter if your ISP is located in Timbuktu, if they can trade bandwidth for you, they can get you on the internet here, in Europe, in Asia, wherever. Now, CJDNS and Mantle have a shared vision of bringing the internet to billions of people and making it faster for billions more. But if that's all we did, then all we do is make faster, cheaper ads. So there's something fundamental about the internet which also needs to change. And this directly relates to decentralization, which is why we're here today. Now, this future becomes a bit fuzzy. We can, we can talk about tokenized content markets of ideas, platform co-ops, but none of these com groups of words can really capture what this concept is about. It's like trying to predict Uber when Steve Jobs is inventing the App Store. Now, to bring it back, these days we hear a lot about deep learning and deep neural nets. You know, that's neural nets where each neuron is itself a neural net. And remember I told you the singularity, it's already here. Well, everything we know about AI says that it's not. It, it's, and it's just we're not there yet. But I don't believe that the singularity is going to come out of a Google research lab. I don't think it's even something that will happen. I think it's happening now. I think it's everybody in the world. It's our brains that are all connected together through the network. Sun Microsystems used to say back in the 90s, the network is the computer. I think that we're going to start to say the network is the brain. But OK, I, I don't know the future. But what I do know is that whatever we do build, it's going to need to be built on decentralized infrastructure, which will be free from today's corporate internet providers. So thank you very much. And uh, CJDNS Corporation and um, Mantle are going to be. <laughs> We're going to be seeking partners, so if you think that if you think okay. that you can provide value, next up please we've got Sean Barger. A, um, uh, please leave the stage. We got to get Sean up here. We got one more. We got to get. I'm sorry, he's three minutes over, and we, there are buses waiting to take you to the dinner. All I got to say is, you know, if. Uh, if you think that you can provide value in this partnership, it is going to be an ecosystem, and nobody's going to do this alone. We need to stand shoulder to shoulder. So please, talk to me, write an email, talk to these guys in the back. Thank you very much, y'all.